together smaller. The midsection has the vertical stripes. The hind end and legs have the horizontal stripes. They are the largest of the zebras and they're listening to every word. They are adorable. Good videos. Wow. Nobody gets this. I've got better luck than most of us. I'll take it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Without burning out the end. Oh, you still see that. Yeah. 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 Look at their ears. Name, Coaster, and when we stop on the bridge, you can stand up and look behind you and catch another view of them. But they, the young males in the in this bachelor herd, are learning from the mature male who's been there what it's supposed to be like to be a bachelor in the bachelor herd. Hey, the alpha male. And then they uh, uh, to the female. Preventing and breeding. All that part of nature. We follow that. We to our immediate right like the island uh, in the African uh, forest. Beautiful. Uh, Who's on the island of Ballard? Thinks he's one of our great white pelicans from the Danube Delta. Those in the water that are gray are pink back pelicans. The only pelicans, by the way, to perch in trees because the bendable back toe. As for the four species that represent the forests, do I see even one? Well, maybe. Past the island in the delta, the roan antelope with the mask and thick neck. But as for the other three in here, I wish, wish I could find one for you. I can't. So we gotta move downhill, looking for others we can see, like those underneath the palm trees on our left ahead of us, that like water, the low Mom, why do you buy this phone case from? Uh, from Amazon, I, I don't know if I can get you the perfect bands. view of them, but when I pass <laughs> the an automatic gate that closes, so I don't want to be messing with it. This is Africa. These two palm trees on our left are a pretty good spot for most of the shy ones to sit. So with that, I'm going to come up alongside these two palm trees and look down and behind me. I think under the second palm tree, will I see anything? I don't know. Come on, guys, give us a break. Get a tough one. I've seen a lot more. Oh, there they are. So if I go up a little bit further, next to my favorite, the fig tree here on my left, and then come to a stop, if you stand up and look behind you on the left, you'll see the two males that like water, because they're water dwellers. The lowland niala. They have the big brown fluffy coat, kind of cream colored legs. I think they're gorgeous artistically. You see them? Yeah. My cool. The more you look, the more you're going to find. But this tree is my favorite above me on the left. Because the idea of a small, small wasp being the only thing that can pollinate this tree is mind-blowing. But it's true. So the small of it and the big of it, they all make connections. And we are the lucky recipients of all that, too. Now, this is another tough angle, but I think I can do it justice. Because I'm going to head towards the greater kudu male. They're still young, sitting under two big green trees. Mm -hmm. Ahead of me on the left, second tree, farthest away. This is the only way you're going to see them if I go this slowly and not stop. Because somebody will be stuck behind a bush or whatever. The curly horns on the young males are something. But when they're mature, if you've ever seen a greater kudu mature male, the horns spiral three times in their lifetime. And they're about three foot in length phenomenal when they're mature and because their color is kind of a taupe color they have vertical stripes through the middle that look more like the reeds that they stand behind oh, no. creating the illusion that they are not there in the wild so all that nature is doing to help them survive and to me that's totally amazing amazing what nature is it nurtures us it's powerful uncompromising in the needs it has to the benefits of all of us. <laughs> Thanks for helping us protect Daddy, it. My name's Coaster 23. Now you'll see an overview of the place this way, all the way down to the valley ahead of us. It's my an agricultural Coaster preserve 20. that was set aside in the 60s. I'm and gratefully did that, because who knows what this would have looked like had they not. And uh, Dr. Ooh. Schroeder is to be thanked. He was our zoo director and veterinarian in the 60s who masterminded all of this choreographed it beautifully, worked with the city of San Diego about 10 years before getting any animals out here in the late 60s. What are those called? And ever since, All giving the us the means and wherewithal, thanks to your support, to keep up the effort to protect this planet. So we've done a great job, I'm telling you. Over the years, 
starting out as kids, being inquisitive, and hopefully sharing the knowledge and learning more. But with that, the world is a beautiful place. And when you work together like the animals do to protect yourselves, even better. So we learn a lot from watching the behaviors of animals. Maybe you'll see some of those roadrunners here up the hill, mule deer, uh, coyotes, sometimes. You never know what you're going to see. But the beauty of the drought tolerant plants is the big, big tree on the right. I like mountain lions. That's Laurel too. Mountain lions. What it does at night is collect the dew in those V shaped dark green leaves and then send it to the root system in the day when there's little water. Where's a wino? Where did you Look at my hat. In the way of water. I can't see one. Very economical. Maybe they're up far. To our advantage as we pull downhill. Let's see the camels. Either. I'll show you the favorite tree of Jurassic oh, East. As I'm approaching it, I wouldn't reach out and touch it because the thorns are sharp. But they love eating thorns on a thorn tree, appropriately named. Here on my immediate left is their favorite tree. So we put it close enough to the fence line that at night after we go home, they come up and trim it and it looked kind of asymmetrical. So what we did is get the horticulture to trim it, make it look more round, and then now it's growing up big enough to where they probably come up again and chew up the left side of it. It's amazing how we've come this far. I just can't tell you. I've been here three decades and I've seen a lot of change. But right now you're gonna see two things. The larger antelope known as Eland and their babies that were born three weeks ago next to one of the adults. Those babies have the longest legs. But when they're adult, those big tan ones weigh about 1,500 pounds and they jump off the ground five feet. Amazing. The others next to them, they can jump up eight feet by arching the back and making the legs rigid. That's what pronking is. And those are springbok, appropriately named. Downhill we go. Nice spot, isn't it? Probably. To give birth, these animals like their favorite places. And this maternity canyon below us is theirs. Indeed, where those youngsters were born. And a lot of times, species have their babies all at once, within a two-week span. So that they put a glut on the market, and predators can't get all the babies, and there's always something left over to appropriate. So the idea behind all of this is Nature is doing it, nurturing indeed. Did I mention how to get on those trucks? There are no people on it. <laughs> Maybe it ain't working. Oh, they might have transported the people to a different truck. That ought to get the animals all riled up. <laughs> don't know, I don't know. I know this one's working. So here on the right side is North Africa. Where are they? Probably on the other side of the hill. So let's look to the cluster of palm trees on the right. Yep, way up there getting a bird's eye view of everything on the other side. Oh, yeah, like the scimitar horned oryx are at the top, a species we return to the outskirts of the Sahara. Barbary red deer is sitting under the cluster of palm trees, native to the Atlas Mountains, between Tunisia and Algeria. And the Yankoli cattle nowhere to be seen. So we're going to book it down to East Africa now, get the pleasure of seeing more in a few minutes knowing that this is where we started here on the left in South Africa in the late 60s. It's a pleasure to check it out. I love this tree too on the left above me. It's an African red coral tree. Blooms usually March to May, but we have a lot of them in the field in South Africa, which you can see through this tiny opening on the left that have been trimmed by the giraffe at 20 feet. So it's really amazing. All the things out here suit the animals just fine. Well, there's a truck filled with people. The other one has none, so I don't know what's going on. But then, it's not for me to guess. We're moving on. And people that are great need to be told they are, right? So thanks for being some of the finest. We need more people like you. Doing what you can every day to make life a little easier on both your family and others. Indeed. Especially learning more about, well, life. And it's complicated. If anybody tells you it's simple, it is not. But to make it a little more simple, What's the ability to share ideas, concepts, is everything. Collaboration is the key. Is it up? 
Kind of up? No. It's in the middle. Daddy, you want to pick me up from school? Yep. Here we go. What are we going to see here on the right? I don't know. We'll find out. How did you do that? that? Oh, wait. I see one. I see one. Where? Oh, Boy, they cleared out, haven't they? Maybe the animals in the other habitat. Small. So, we've got some Baringo giraffe near the wildlife safari oh, truck. Check there. them out. Oh, yeah, the we have clever ways of giving the animals their diet. Right there. In part, we have yeah, tree stumps that are real. We put today. the herbivore pellets in, and the giraffe will come over and eat both, cutting down our food bill. To our advantage, as we pull up adjacent to them, they know that our hair specialists are out of the vehicle. Oh, yeah. Did you see the rhinos? Checking on somebody. Look at the giraffe staring at him like, what are you up to? Look at this. Is this funny? See the giraffe on my right? Staring ahead of me. I like giraffes. Look at the giraffe at the wall. My sister They're likes rhinos. My sister likes rhinos. I like giraffes. Look at my hat. Look at my hat. I have my hat. That's adorable. Oh, what a baby. <laughs> they face is right to us. Look at All animals give us. Such great feedback, I'll tell you. And I like it. The tree on our left wouldn't make it if giraffe were getting to it because that's their favorite tree to eat. The thorn tree. Daddy okay. Clove. What did you upload? Have to go to Australia today to see wallabies, kangaroos, the only two platypuses in the U.S. They love it. The tiger trails are up there. Succulent garden too. And much, much more on foot. So it's a pleasure to have been able to go on the ride with you. Female Lola Niala on the left. Remember the males that you saw under the palm trees? That's what the females look like. Orange or vertical stripes. Beautiful. Anywho, have a great day with your family. Thanks for being here. And uh, always know that you're important. Have a great afternoon. Thank you very, very much. I'm Carol. Your exit is on the right. Take your mom on the